Today I'm talking about mastering the basics. You know, this is uh, probably a, a, an extremely difficult lesson that I had to learn. Um, and, and I'm probably still learning it, honestly. Uh, but I definitely have a lot more perspective on it now than I did when I was younger. So in a world that's, you know, constantly changing with new innovation and new complexity, it's hard to remember that the key to success in any endeavor relies or lies in mastering the basics. Uh, it can get really intriguing or enticing to focus on innovation, which is important. I'm not going to say it's not. But you cannot forget that any fundamental path to success, there are certain key fundamentals to any particular thing that you're doing that absolutely have to be done well. And those usually lead to 90% of the success of the effort. All the other stuff are extraneous, extra. The core cannot be avoided. Now, you can innovate the core. Like once you figure out the core fundamentals that have to be done, you can innovate those and make them more efficient. That's what true innovation really should be focusing on. Innovation for innovation success sake can be disruptive to the fundamentals. And for that reason, oftentimes innovation ends up causing, ends up making things worse. When I was younger, I did a lot of research in computer science. And there was a very interesting phenomenon they called the productivity paradox. And we had initially when computing came around, there was massive um, economies of scale created by computing. We were able to reduce the number of people required to do tasks with computers and with machines. We saw a dramatic productivity improvement of an individual person. However, there came a time in, I think it was 80s, about the, around the beginning of the 80s, where productivity due to innovation was declining. And this created a paradox because the reason people were spending money on innovation was to improve productivity, not to decrease productivity. Well, what they discovered was that we were spending a lot of energy and time on innovation, but the energy and time on innovation was not directly going to improve the productivity of people, of the core fundamentals. New ways of developing software started focusing on the fundamentals again, talking to people to figure out what they needed. User-centric designs reversed that trend. So it's interesting to think about how basics, the basics are really important to any enterprise or to any field that you choose to do so. I would say that you discover the basics after a lifetime of pursuit. If you've been in a particular field for a long time, you've tried a million things, you've tried hundreds of things and things haven't worked out, and, and if you end up having success, you learn to, to focus on just a co few core things, and those are the things that end up having success for you. I would recommend getting to know people in your field that are older and more experienced and that have been doing this a long time. Chances are, whatever they do during their day at the tail end of their career are most likely the boiled down things that, are the, that, that have the greatest impact on the business. And it's those things that you need to be really good at. I uh, worked with an attorney for a while when I was consulting. And this attorney, an older man, insisted on handling all client intake by himself. Why? Well, I think he'd learned over a process of time that the intake process, meeting with a client for the first time, was one of the core fundamentals of his practice. If that did not go well, or if the stage was not set correctly, expectations, understanding, and a lot of other issues could be 
uh, go as go askew or go astray if the intake process is not carefully followed. Now, there is probably some innovations that he could have done to make the intake process easier to translate what he learned in the intake process to his team. But the idea that the lawyer needed to meet with the client to uncover the issue was fundamental. So that is why a veteran of the business can provide you so much value. Um, mastering the basics helps you focus on the things that will actually do the most to forward progress, to move the needle, to push you that next step for, forward. So in my idea, two steps. In any field or any endeavor you're pursuing, number one, find out what the basics are. That may not be easy. Look for people that are older and wiser and have done this for years to find out what that is. And then secondly, focus the fundamentals and make that your foundation of daily activity. Then start considering where you can innovate.